My kids don't want to go back to school. Two days, two separate school threats, two teens arrested in Ferndale. We were going over the procedures because of the threat yesterday, yeah. and then on social media, I saw it on Snapchat, my friend sent me the picture. This is what freshman Griffin saw, a photo of a note found in the school's bathroom saying someone was going to shoot up the school and they had loaded AR pistols to do it. The school went into lockdown. They were doing a canned food drive for the holidays and because my daughter's on the softball team, they gave her and her uh, softball classmates cans to throw just in case. Mary didn't know for the better part of an hour if there was any truth to that note. Thankfully, there was not. How hard is it to send your kids to school every morning? I don't want them to live in fear and I don't want to live in fear. But if they don't want to go back to school this week, that's fine. They can stay home. On Monday, Ferndale Middle and high schools canceled after this hit list surfaced and circulated on social media. A 16 year old female student believed to be behind that threat arrested. And in Tuesday's threatening note, a 16 year old male student arrested, both being held at Children's Village in Pontiac. Threats like these can get you a felony and up to 20 years behind bars. It's kind of um, embarrassing because like, they're like messing their entire lives up because like like even like a joke that could like like prevent them from getting into their dream college, like all that stuff. Ferndale police sweep the school Tuesday and found nothing to show the threat was valid. Class was dismissed early. I think they should like close the schools for the rest of the week and just start again next week. But kind of a refresh. Yeah, kind of a refresh. Reporting in Ferndale, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News.